uh, it's your girl Tiffany, Metamalicious Black Beauty, your Poetic Psychic Pisces, High Priestess, aka the light that shines like a diamond, also known as your modern day nun, one whom isn't within a coven, a convent, or a covenant. I do thank you all for listening and for watching on today. If you would be so kind to please like, share, and subscribe, it will be greatly, greatly appreciated. This is going to be a general reading for the overall collective of any zodiac sign. So please take the messages that apply, leave the ones that do not. So remember that this reading can apply to your past, your present, or your future, as well as it may be pertaining to you or any and everyone in between that you may or may not know. So please take the messages that apply, leave the ones that do not. Okay, guys, um, I hope everyone is doing well and feeling well on today. Okay, guys, so let's get into your overall messages. The first card you have here is rumors. Okay, so there could be some type of gossip or rumors that's going on. Someone turned their back on you. Okay. They can no longer control you or use you, so they're mad. Cons in action. They put a hit out on you to have you killed to cover their tracks. We have backstabbers here. And we have here, they're jealous, envious, and intimidated by you, okay? You could be hated on by many, okay? Somebody has definitely backstabbed you. These persons, they backstabbed you because they're jealous, envious, and intimidated by you. The sad part about this, you could have had persons, a person or persons who have turned their back on you. And they also put a hit out on you to have you killed to cover their tracks and the things that they have done to you. Now, there could be rumors and gossip that is going around by these persons who turned their back on you. But they really feel in some type of way here because they can no longer control you. Okay, um, or use you so they're mad here. Spirit is also saying that your family, fake friends, no good ex lovers, and the government came together to try to destroy you. Okay, so there are definitely cons in action here, con artists in action here. Okay, um, there could also be something going on with the CIA, with this, which is the Central Intelligence Agency. So there could be some type of a, a legal surveillance. Or technology that is being used okay as well okay and the CIA is aware of this okay so we're gonna see what else is going on here guys spirit clarify rumors clarify rumors please spirit what are these rumors about Spirit is telling you, you need to keep your distance, though, okay? You definitely need to choose your friends, your family, your associates wisely. When people show you who they really are, you need to believe them. Keep your distance and stay away from the enemy. Okay, so we have here, believe in, don't believe the hype, believe in unicorns here. So Spirit is saying that the ops around you are gaslighting you, okay? There's some type of trickery that's going on here. You're being targeted in some type of way. Persons are playing mind games with you. They could be emotionally abusing you, um, using some type of mind control tactics on you, or even gang stalking you, okay? There's some type of lies, deception, and manipulation that's going on as well here. Um, this could have something to do with the rumors, with the gossip that's going on. Or going around okay but um, you definitely could be a targeted individual spirit clarify um, somebody turned their back on you somebody turned their back on you yep like I said, you're a targeted individual. Somebody turned their t back on you, okay? Um, because they are they are a part of targeting you, okay? Like I said, there's surveillance, invasions, stalking, and even harassment that's going on. Discrimination um, that is happening as well. So you could be getting a discriminated against. You could have been, um, there could also be some type of isolation that is going on. You've been isolated from persons, places, or things here, okay? There could be hacking, tracking, hate, violations, okay? Um, like I said, there could be some type of illegal technology that's being used, okay? Um, this could have something to do with remote neural monitoring, microwave programming, voice to skull technology directed energy weapons of some kind but these persons who turned their back on you they did so because you were targeted individual so you clarified they can no longer control you or use you so they're mad
whomever you are, um, you may be a content creator here. Um, you have a platform of some kind, whether you're on YouTube, Facebook, uh, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. Um, you could be a blogger. Um, or a vlogger, you're on social media some way, shape, form, or fashion here, okay? Like I said, you're a content creator and you have some type of platform, okay? These persons um, can't control you, okay? They can't use you anymore, so they're mad at you, which is why they are attacking you in the manner in which they are. You could have a particular talent, skill, or ability as well, guys, okay? So Spirit, clarify cons in action, these cons and action spirit are saying are karmic here. These are manipulative uh, individuals who are two-faced. They're emotional abusers. They're full of drama. They could be codependent, childish, demonic, or demonically possessed. Haters, annoying, bullies, habitual liars, backstabbers, very aggressive, bad attitude, ignorant um, type of individuals. Lazy, crazy, so anxious, no love, mean, surly, evil, wicked, or just heartbreakers here are these cons. in action who are um whom are working against you okay so we clarify they put a hit out on you to have you killed to cover their tracks they put a hit out on you to have you killed to cover their tracks i feel like um there could be more than one person who's involved in doing this okay we have the mother card here. This is my bad mother card here, okay? Um, there's a mother who's definitely involved in um, having some type of hit put out on you to have you killed to cover their tracks and what they did to you. You definitely could be dealing with some family issues right now or could have been dealing with family issues all your life. But yeah, I see the cold-blooded killer death card here as well here. So I feel like somebody could have contracted, hired a hitman to kill you. This could have been done by this mother or any and every anyone else that she's teamed up or linked up working with. It's very clear they're jealous, envious, and intimidated by you. They're jealous, envious, and intimidated by you. Yeah, so this came out again. Spirits say keep your distance, okay? Choose your friends, your family, your associates wisely. When people show you who they really are, believe them, okay? You need to keep your distance and stay away from the enemy. These individuals are trying to cause some type of tower moment in your life here. Some type of chaos or tragedy or problems of any kind. Is what they're trying to conjure up or manifest against you. Okay? That's what Spirit is saying. Spirit, clarify rumors. What are these rumors about? What are the rumors about, Spirit? So this could be the community of individuals spreading rumors pertaining to this. So this could be a large amount of people who are involved in this, who are rumoring, who are talking about something that is going on, that is happening. Spirit, clarify somebody turned their back on you. Somebody turned their back on you. You could be a mature woman. Or a mature woman could have, uh, which could be this mother person here, okay? But you could also be a mature woman, or you could even be a mature man. Y'all take the energy that, um, the messages that apply, okay? But someone turned their back on you because you're a targeted individual here, okay? Spirit, clarify. Um, they can no longer control you or use you, so they're mad. They can no longer control you or use you, so they're mad. Yeah, something has to do with your occupation, what you do for work, what you, uh, uh, um, 
what you do for a career. This could even tie into a hobby or trade or some type of talent skills or abilities that you have. Whatever it is that you do for work, you could do online or what have you. These people feel like they can they can no longer control you. They can't use you, okay? And so they're mad here, okay? at you okay which is the why they're attacking you the way they're attacking you okay these individuals are just jealous envious and intimidated by you here okay this is also the reason why on the back of that card spirit is saying that your family um friends ex-lovers and the government came together to try to destroy you so there's a multitude of individuals who are involved in things that's going on spirit clarify cons in action with the karmic so these cons that's, that's, that's been doing something, they're sending concern about something right now. They're worried about something that's going on or that's happening. I feel like they could be have could have been sworn to secrecy about something. Persons can't speak about um, what they've done, what what's going on behind the scenes. These individuals could be a part of some type of secret society or something, okay? But there's some type of concern. As it relates to these cons and action and what they're doing behind the scenes and behind your back here. So to clarify, they put a hit out on you to have you killed to cover their tracks. They put a hit out on you to have you killed to cover their tracks. So we have the family room here. Okay, and we also have a wealthy man here, okay? So I feel like both your family and whoever they're linked up or teamed up with in power, in authority, or who is wealthy, they put a, a hit out on you, okay? To blood sacrifice you, okay? To cover their tracks and what they have done to you. So to clarify, they're jealous, envious, and intimidated by you. They're jealous, envious, and intimidated by you. Whoever you are, you're supposed to be a privileged lady or you are a privileged lady here. This is the reason why Spirit is telling you that you need to keep your distance and stay away from the enemy. You need to choose your friends, your family, your associates wisely here, okay? You're supposed to be a privileged lady. They're trying to get away with stealing something from you. They're trying to take something from you. This could have to do with money, property, anything that belongs to you. There could also be some type of legal situation that's going on. Yeah, we got great fortune here. So I definitely feel like um, you're entitled to some type of great fortune or you have some type of great fortune. A great fortune is supposed to be coming to you. They're trying to steal this from you. These people could be trying to steal your money. So your livelihood, still your children, uh, anything. Because if you look at this thief card here, you see how these people are trying to lure away this young child here, okay? Whoever you are, you're supposed to be privileged, but you could actually be living in poverty right now. This is, you, you are purposely planted in poverty. You're not even, you're someone who's not even supposed to be in poverty. People who are in power know this, as well as your, your fake, phony, fraudulent family. Everybody that you've come to contact know that you should not be in poverty, but this is being done on purpose. Spirit, clarify rumors. Clarify rumors. Clarify rumors. So we have flawlessness here. So these are just a bunch of fake, phony, fraudulent, untrue as individuals who's gossiping and spreading rumors and lies and slander and different things like that. These the ops, okay? They're trying to trick you. They're trying, they're they're targeting you, they're playing mind games, okay? Um, running their little psychological operation, emotionally abusing you. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Spirit is saying this is lies, deception, and manipulation is all they got going on. Spirit, clarify somebody turned their back on you. Somebody turned their back on you. This could be persons in power. There's somebody who is, um, who's very arrogant, very superior. Very possessive, controlling, manipulative, um, bossy, dominant, who could have turned their back on you. Persons in power and authority could have turned their back on you. 
obviously family turned their back on you. Friends, so-called friends could have turned their back on you. All these people, we got conversation here. All these people who are talking about you, teamed up, linked up, talking about you, rumoring about you, gossiping about you, turned their back on you. To be clarified, they can no longer control you so they're, so, or, or use you, so they're mad. They can no longer control you or use you, so they're mad. So we have sigh here. They're sighing over what it is that you do for work or your occupation or your talent, skills, or abilities. Okay? So we clarify cons and action. Cons and action. So we have surprise here. There could be something that is a surprise or a shock or something or something that has come as a surprise or shock or will come as a surprise or shock or, or, or something here. But um, there's some type of concern as it relates to these karmic as individuals who are con artists in action. So to clarify, they put a hit out on you to have you killed to cover the tracks. They put a hit out on you to have you killed to cover the tracks. I definitely feel like so we have foes here these individuals are definitely foes okay foes are individuals who are enemies who are your opponents they're your ops okay they're not for you um there could be a person in military who's a part of putting this hit out on you to have you killed to cover the tracks spirit is saying that they are the enemy Yeah, these individuals who are jealous of you, envious of you, intimidated by you, they also working for someone. They're working for the enemy. They're working for whoever these persons are that's in power here. We have Lord here, persons in authority, power, leadership that holds some type of structure in or influence here, okay? Also, somebody, uh, you could either know someone personally who is a pastor or a minister or, or you know, ordained minister or, or something like that. I may hold some type of position within the church here, but I also just seen priest. Okay. So there's a multitude of individuals that's involved here. We literally have foe, soldier, enemy, Lord, priest here. Okay. So we're talking about individuals in power and authority that holds influence, military officials, uh, someone, persons who are ordained ministers who hold positions within the church, okay? These are all uh, enemies, okay? Because foe literally means enemy. It also means opponent as well. So these are persons who are working against you, who are not for you. All these people came together to put a hit out on you to have you killed to cover their tracks here, okay? These persons are jealous and envious and intimidated by you here, okay? You could be a scholar, Okay, you're a specialist in a particular field of study. You could um, you could write. Uh, maybe you have written a book, or you're you're becoming an author, or will become an author. Okay, but if that's not your profession, if that's not what you do for work, uh, whatever it is that you do, you are a specialist at it, and it can bring you great fortune here. Okay. And these people are waiting around on something to happen because they want to try to steal something from you. Okay. So that's what's, that's what's going on here, guys. Let's get some further clarification for the situation. Spirit, clarify rumors. Clarify rumors, please, Spirit. Clarify rumors. So I see messages here, okay? Um, somebody could be sending messages back and forth to each other with these rumors, with these gossip, okay? Uh, Spirit, clarify somebody turned their back on you. Um, somebody turned their back on you. And turned their back on you, but I feel like you, you, um, you still had to have, um, 
self-love, self-care for your own self, okay? So you could be closed off now, guarded and resistant to these persons uh, that that turned their back on you. So we clarified they can no longer control you or use you. <clears throat> so they're mad. Look at this, control tactics. They want to control you. And this is the reason why they're mad. This is the reason why they're, ta uh, they're attacking you, okay? Cons in action, okay? To clarify cons in action, um, they could be trying to change something. Yeah. You have limitations and fears here. They want to try to limit you in some type of way, keep you stuck, restricted, unable to move in some type of way here. So we clarify they put a hit out on you to have you killed to cover the tracks. They put a hit out on you to have you killed to cover their tr um, their tracks. There could be an earth sign that is involved, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Wow. They feel like this is karmic justice here, karma balanced justice here. To put a hit out on somebody to have them killed to cover their own damn tracks. We have fire sign here. So there's, we have earth sign here, fire sign here, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's some type of contract. This right here, this says contracts, career, commitments. This is Saturn energy here. They took, somebody took a contract out on you. This could also be another reason why these persons are jealous, intimidated by you. About your career or a contract. Okay. But I feel like somebody took a, a, a contract out on you to have you killed. Yeah. Whoever you are, you speak truth. In your expressions and something that you write and something that you do here. This could bring you in great fortune, okay? But they want to steal something from you. See, your third eye is also open. You have clarity, okay? And they don't like that. They want you in lack. They want to steal something from you. So you'll be in lack. So you'll be in doubt, Yeah, your family. Your family is involved in having this contract taken out on you to have you killed. Someone who's an air sign is involved here. So, so far we have earth sign, fire sign. Um, oh gosh, there, there could even be a water sign involved in this. You could be either one of these signs and this is being done to you as well. But I feel, I, I feel like the reason why all these signs are coming out is because there are multiple people involved. Whomever you are, you are a feminine energy. So this message is definitely for a feminine, although a masculine um, could be going through these things as well. These people are going to regret what they did to you. Spirit, any more messages for these people who put a hit out on someone to have them killed to cover their tracks? Persons have been spying on you as well. There's been some type of spying that has been going on as well. Spying, watching inspecting you any other persons involved here spirit yeah they came to the conclusions they made these decisions to do these awful things to you they rejected you rejection loss fragmented they rejected you Yeah, deception, a lot of deception here and how they treated you and what they did to you.
These people could have uh, separated you, isolated you in some way, shape, form, or fashion. So we have all elements out here, earth, fire, water, and air, okay? So there's a lot of people involved. A lot of people involved and uh, what is going on and what is being done to you. Spirit, clarify these rumors. What's going on with these rumors? What's going on with these rumors? So we have feelings here. People are expressing their feelings, okay? Um, how they feel about you, talking about you, ridiculing you, judging you, what have you. Spirit, clarify somebody put it hold on just a minute guys okay guys somebody turned their back on you okay so we have letting go here they just let go and left you hanging spirit is saying spirit clarify they can no longer um, control or use you so um they're mad so we have turn away okay I feel like you withdrew your energy from these persons as well, okay? Which that is understandable, okay? Because if these people are gaslighting you, they're targeting you, they're smiling, and then you have those of them. When you're a targeted individual, you're isolated by everybody. You're mature, mistreated by everybody, but they'll have certain, in like a handful of individuals. It might be certain people in your family. It might be... Um, an associate or a lover or something who will pop in and out your life um, when the hell they get ready, okay? Um, every once in a while, okay? So it's not like you, you know what I'm saying? These people are persistent or constant in your life. Some people are, okay? Now, if you are unaware that you are a target, they will have people who are around you like all the time. They're gaslighting you all the time. They're part of the whole setup and everything and they're just playing their role. But individually, when you know that you are a target, and you've been isolating, you figure out what's going on at some point for your own sanity and different things. You just, you, you, um, you know, ex communication with these people as well, even sometimes, okay? And I, I feel like that, okay? You're not going to be sometiming with me. You don't get to pop in and out my life when the hell it's convenient for you when you feel like it, when you get ready. And then when you do, you, you trying to gaslight me. You understand me? You still coming around with your slick shots, your wise crotch, your subliminal messages, your hand signs, your symbolisms. I, I can see through all that shit. I read all that shit and it pisses me off, okay? So if you are part of that, go over there to your handlers or whoever the hell you sold out to. Don't come to me. Work with all the rest of them against me behind the damn scenes. But what you're not going to do is come and gaslight me to my damn face. You understand me? Play games and, you know, mind games and different shits in my face. You're not going to do that. And you don't get to pop in and out my life when the hell you get ready. If I don't talk to you every day, if I don't see you every day, you don't call, you don't text. Um, we don't speak on the regular. We not cool like that. Don't pop up sometime when the fuck you feel ready and just, you know, get ready and show up without noticing all this other kind of shit. Okay. Cause I'm not sitting on no back burner waiting on you and I'm not obligated to you. And you have to let people know, okay? Especially when you're a full-grown-ass adult, okay? What you're not going to do is just treat me however the hell you want to treat me when the hell you get ready to call yourself treating me because I can do without. I can do bad by myself. So I don't need your random something. You understand what I'm saying? People that it's 365 days in a year, 364 damn days could go by and you want to pop your ass up out the blue one day out the damn year. That's not acceptable. I don't give a damn what you come to do, what you come to say. That's not acceptable. Period. And previous to that, years might have went by, you know what I'm saying? You ain't heard from this person. Months and months and months and went by and years and went by, you know what I'm saying? No. Absolutely not. And I don't care nothing about it. I'm a loner. You know what I'm saying? Some people 
if a person is codependent or a person is kind of clingy like that and you know some people are like that when they feel like that they have to be in the company of somebody afraid to be alone and don't want to be i don't care nothing about it baby you understand me and i'm not gonna lose no sleep over you but what you're not gonna do is bounce in and out my life when the hell you get ready because see what narcissists do is narcissists that come into your life act like they love you act like they care about you play their role for a little bit and you let them keep up this shit, they'll they'll do that and then they'll play games with you because then they'll switch up and they'll talk to you any type of way or mistreat you in some type of way. Then ghost you. Then pop back up and act like nothing fucking happened. We're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. So when spirit tell you to, you know, show you who people really are, cut their asses off and don't worry about it. Okay, and let them know, look, you're not going to pop in and out my life when the hell you get ready, when you feel like it, when it's convenient for you. Because I'm not sitting on no back burner waiting on you. Because that's not love. A person that truly loves you, cares about you, supports you, have your back and all this other kind of shit. Don't you think that you will hear from them more frequently? You will see them more frequently? You understand what I'm saying? Not some odd popping up every once in a while that want to gaslight you, play mind games and different shit with you because they handle it and sent you over here. And you know these sellouts, they can't say nothing, they can't do nothing unless they got permission or approval for their damn handlers and who giving them their damn incentives, bitch. So I say take your ass back to your handler, them Satan powers that be, and you play with them. Don't play with me. Because I tell them about themselves. See, that's what I do. They don't play with me. You ain't going to pop around, come around, because I call them out. The one thing that an op and a sellout hate is when you call them out because they can't tell the truth. So what they'll do is they'll either deflect, they'll try to over-talk you, argue you down, and then sooner or later they just, or, or either they'll just take off and leave because they can't say nothing. So they can't rebut because they're re giving a rebuttal statement with, you know what I'm saying, the truth will slip out in some type of way, shape, form, or fashion. So that more than likely they'll just run off. The ones that's uh, around me that I know, they'll just run off. I call them out on their bullshit just as calmly. I don't have to be hostile. I don't have to call you at your name. I don't have to raise my voice. I just call them out on their bullshit. Don't play with me. You're not going to gaslight me. Your little psychological operations don't work on me. Your little mind control games, it's a wrap. You understand what I'm saying? Don't let nobody play with you like that. So, you know what I'm saying? These people turn their back on you. You understand what I'm saying? And then they mad because they can't control you and they can't use you the way they did when you was under mind control and brainwashing, dumbed down and shit. How they got over you, how they are on you, how they lied to you straight up to your face. And you didn't know no better because you was blind to what was actually going on. So I feel like for whoever is going through this, when you awaken, you realize what was going on and what was happening. You turned away from them. Look, look, it's okay. I'm by myself to myself all the damn time. Lonely, loner ain't got no damn body. And I ain't yearning and urging to see your ass some damn time. So let's not even worry about it. Because you done got to the point where you done turned away. Because you know these people want to control you. They want to manipulate you. See, you using your third eye. You listening to your intuition. You following your wisdom. Your spirit guides are guiding you. Very clarify cons in action. Cons in action. Cons in action, spirit. So there's some type of communication that's going back and forth between these cons that's in action, that's that's um working against you in some type of way, shape, form, or fashion. You need to use your discernment as it relates to these cons in action here. Spirit, clarify they put a hit out on you to have you killed to cover your tracks. Magic. They back behind the scene doing some type of hocus pocus, black magic, voodoo, hoodoo, hexes, curses, spells, whatever. See, they're jealous and envious and intimidated by you because you're abundance, okay? There's some type of abundance coming in for you. They mad because you have awareness. You are aware as to what is going on, okay? 
yeah, you know that they lying on you, that they're trying to steal from you, okay, that they're mistreating you, that, that they're doing all type of um, illegal and unjust to, things to you, but you're just going with the flow. You're just going with the flow of things. Spirit, give us and some angel message guidance for this situation. Give us some angel message guidance. So we have innocence here. Hold on, I went back into the deck. Something has to do with your life purpose, which is another reason why they're attacking you, okay? Spirit is telling you that... Um, the purpose of your life is to serve in a way that brings great joy to yourself and others. Don't worry about um, finding your purpose. Instead, focus upon serving a purpose and then your purpose will serve you, okay? And I feel like that's what you do. And they mad because they can't control you. They mad because they can't control you. Give us one more angel message for this uh, situation, spirit. Give us one more angel message for this situation. So we have steady progress here. So while they're attacking you, you're continuously progressing, okay? Don't allow anybody to, to, to lower your self-esteem and how you love yourself and how you feel about yourself because of how they feel about you, that they too coward to tell you to your damn, to your damn face because they too busy with their weak, sorry, coward ass is working against you behind the back, behind your back, okay? So steady progress here. Spirit is saying, we acknowledge you for the progress you've made in remembering love in your daily activities. We can clearly see the contribution you're making to the world through your thoughts, feelings, and actions of love. See, this is the reason why these people are mad. Innocence, the bottom of the deck. You, there is this purity, this innocence within you, okay? See, as long as, if you notice, if you notice, for those of you who have had an awakening, if you notice before your awakening, when you was brainwashed, when you was dumbed down, when you was under mind control or what have you, you probably didn't have no problems with nobody. But, you know, besides the, the, the daily things in life, you know, that could possibly go on just regular life stuff. If you notice from the moment you awakened, you were attacked. And that goes for any person who is awakened. That goes for any person who is a targeted individual. From the moment that that uh, persons realized that you was awakened, that you was aware of what was happening, you was aware of your surroundings and what was going on, you was no longer blind to the bullshit, you were no longer under their spell, under mind control or anything, you began to be vigorously attacked by the enemy and come to find out, see a lot of times when, when we are blind, before we have an awakening, we assume our enemies to be uh, anything that's at a distance away from us. Okay, uh, uh, persons, places, or things that we may have never even seen, we would assume would be our enemies. When you awaken, you, re you realize that your enemies are the closest to you more often than not. They in your family, they amongst your friends, they intertwine with your lovers, your associates, your co-workers, your neighbors, complete strangers, even the government. Starting from your local government, working its way on up. Because all these individuals are sellouts. See, that's how they work. See, they, they, didn't, they didn't want you to wake up to realize that before they ushered in the Antichrist. They didn't want you to wake up and realize that before they uh, 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 um, uh, initiated 
indoctrinated you into the new world order. See, that's why they mad. You, you woke up before they was ready. But they've been talking about a new world order long before the hell you even got here. So if the new world order ain't here yet, baby, then it's too late. Because you was once blind, but now you see. And so they mad. The enemy mad because they can't rock a by baby you no more. So they want to attack you. That's the only way they feel that they can flex their muscles upon you. Is if they attack you. Your mind, your body, your soul, your morals, your salvation, your rights, your freedoms, your liberties, your supposed justice. That's supposed to be for all. But it was a lie. It was an illusion. You see. But see those were their words. That they reneged on. Spirit clarify rumors. Clarify rumors. All they little rumors. And in 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 slanders or or gossip was to cause some type of disruption. Yeah, people turn their back on you, but guess what? You continue to stand your ground anyway. Cause anybody that 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 is not there for you, turned their back on you, left you hanging. They weren't meant to be in your life, no way. They weren't for you, no way. But you don't give up on yourself. You don't give up on life. You continue striving to be the greatest version of yourself. And you stand your ground to overcome conflict. That's what you do. That's why they mad. Yeah. They can no longer control you. Or use you. So they mad. Authority. Then I tell you people in authority. People in power. Who want to manipulate and control. Who want to intimidate you. Who want you scared of them. So we're clarify cons in action. Power. Satanic powers have been. Those are them who are high up in power. Privileged. Influencers. Cons in action. Karmic individuals doing all kind of evil, wicked, sinister, satanic, masonic, demonic things. Spirit clarify, they put a hit out on you to have you killed, to cover their tracks. See, they wanted you trapped in fear. They want you trapped in fear and suffering in silence. Spirit clarify, they put a hit out on you to have you killed, to cover their tracks. Conflict. See, the reason why they put a hit out on you to have you killed is because they don't want the general public to know that they illegally invaded and violated your human rights, your civil rights, your constitutional rights. They don't want nobody to know that they was racist against you, that they discriminated against you, that they used cruel and unusual punishments against you. All of those things are written in law. They don't want nobody to know that they stalked you, that they harassed you, that they illegally surveillanced you, that they attacked you. That they purposely had you invaded and violated, used and abused. They don't want nobody to know that. That's why they put a hit out on you to have you killed to cover their tracks. What you think them tracks is? Huh? They don't want nobody to know that they sentenced you to death without a judge or jury or executioner. Without even a charge. Huh? At least if you're charged with something, you have the right to an attorney. You have the right to that counsel. You have the right to defend yourself in a court of law before an honorable sitting judge. At least if they charge with so they ain't even charged with nothing. 
But they breaking every law. Because they say they are the law. They make the money. They got all the money. They got all the damn land of eyes that they done stole. They done fatten up all they damn pockets. They say they the big bad wolves. So they run around doing whatever it is that they want to. And they dare you not to do to unto them. As they have done unto you. And they expect you to keep a smile on your face. And go along with the cruelty. And be happy that you think you're free. That's what they want you to do. That's what they want you to do. But they're too coward to tell you. They're too coward to get their ass up there behind that podium on their stages and tell the American people that's exactly what it is. So they're killing you softly in secret. This is why they have their staged events. That's why people be in blood sacrifice on a daily basis, left and right. So they watch people like me, not because of committing any crimes. Because they don't like no visionaries. They don't like no revolutionaries. They don't like no prophets and things. See, they like them false prophets that sell their soul and they ass to them. And fake preach the gospel while worshiping Lucifer in secret. See, they like them false prophets, but they don't like no real prophets. Because real prophets don't sell out. Real prophets honor our true beliefs unto our death, even if he slayed me. See, that's why they don't like people like me. And you either. If you understand where I'm coming from. See, these people jealous and envious and intimidated by you. Because some type of fulfillment of wishes is coming in for you. Abundance is coming in for you. Recognition and reward is coming in for you. Huh? And they feel some type of way because the satanic powers that be say they didn't endorse you. Who in the hell told them that you needed their permission or approval to be somebody? Huh? I thought this was the land of the free. When one could be all that they wanted to be. Not who you wanted them to be. Hmm. Spirit say prosperity began. See, this is the reason why they're going to regret what they have done unto you. This is what's going on, y'all. Let's get some tarot. Spirit, please give us clear and accurate messages for this reading. What do the collective need to know as it relates to this reading? There's a, a, a queen of wands, fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, feminine. Who could be spreading some type of rumors or gossip about you. This person turned their back on you because they are sellout. Working for the enemy for temporary comforts and incentives. This person can't control you. This person can't use you anymore. And so they may. And they linked up and teamed up with the cons and action. They put a hit out on you. Whoever that queen of wands is, it could be that person's mother. Remember the mother card came out? The bad mother card came out here. This person is also jealous and envious and intimidated by you. Why? Temperance here. You in temperance energy. How you tell you hate somebody that's tempered? Huh? You see these wings on these person? How you hate somebody that's an earth angel? How you hate somebody that's one with the divine? How you hate someone who is chosen? How you hate someone who is purity, who is love and light? Huh? This is why they hate you. And they spreading rumors and gossip and slanders about they attacking an angelic being, an earth angel, a chosen one.
They turned their back on you. They abandoned you. They left you out in the cold. They neglected you. They left you in lack, in need of support. Spirit clarifying. They can no longer control you or use you, so they mad. They can no longer control you or use you, so they mad. Yeah. They want to cause some type of change in your life. Three cups. It's a group of individuals who have collaborated together to work against you. Cons in action, spirit. Cons in action. Cons in action. These cons have been trying to, they've been doing a multitude of different things. They have tried, they have tried, they've caused you all type of burdens, hardships, problematic situations. They want to cause a, uh, a, uh, a, uh, a tower to collapse in your life here. Problems of any kind here. Tragedy. Chaos here. Okay? Yeah. This is the reason why they have so much conflict with you. Jealousy, envy, hatred, spitefulness amongst you. These people have tried to get you institutionalized, tried to have you imprisoned, tried to uh, uh, have you killed. They have stopped at nothing with their madness. Tell us more about this. Look at this. You have shown up in temperance energy and the star energy, and they brown here talking about you like a dog. Somebody turned their back on you. Yeah, these people caused you heartache. They caused you heartbreak. They 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 abandoned you, neglected you, left you out in the cold. Left you in a lack of finances, money, resources, support. Okay? This is what they did to you. Yeah. And they've been working hard behind the scenes. These group of individuals have been working hard behind the scenes. Because they can't manipulate you and control you anymore. Because you don't believe their lies. Because you're not talking to them. Because you won't deal with them. See, they thought that they was going to isolate you and pop in and out of your life when the fuck they wanted to. But you said, oh no, screw you. I'm just going to excommunicate myself with you all the damn together. Now they mad. So then your fake ass family, your fraudulent ass friends, your no good ex lovers and the government came together to try to destroy you. And they've been vigorously working behind the scenes. Seven years. Against you. A group of individuals here. Cons in action. Cons in action. They could have even been doing things and with the justice card here. They could have been trying to cause burdens and hardships and problematic situations in your life. Um, doing things in a court of law in some type of way, shape, form, or fashion here. But spirits say they've been working in secret. They've been working behind the scenes, behind closed doors, behind your back here. Criminal From criminal activity to sneaky, freaky, creepy things to low down and dirty things to wicked, evil things. They've been doing all kinds of things. And your mother... Been sneaking and creeping around here the most here. Yeah, because they jealous, envious, intimidated by you. Spiteful towards you. Why? Because of, of some type of money, a large amount of abundance is supposed to be coming to you with the with the uh, 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 Ten of Pentacles here. This is the reason why they want this tower to collapse in your life, honey. They have ultimately betrayed you, honey. They want to. They want this uh, 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 your world to end, your life to end. They want a finalizing of something, an end of something, a completion of something. Okay? This is why. This is why they're doing what they are doing here. Yeah. They're jealous and intimidated by you because you're a high priestess here. You know secret knowledge, secret information. Yeah, yeah, because you speak truth. You're a high priestess. You speak truth. You speak clarity. So they're causing all these conflicts in your life. Okay? Why? Because they chained to the devil. They sold their soul to the devil. Okay? The devil is working through them. The devil is not attacking you personally. Have you ever seen the devil? You ever seen Lucifer? The morning star, huh? The prince of the air. Have you ever seen? You never been attacked by Lucifer. Lucifer don't have no problem with me. 
but Lucifer works through the sold out as individuals. That's the that's minions and puppets for Lucifer. And they are the ones. See, the evil is working through them. That's attacking you. Lucifer might be upset that you're not one of its flock. Lucifer might be upset that it can't manipulate you, tempt you, control you, or anything like that. But Lucifer don't even have the permission or approval to attack you personally. Lucifer can't do nothing but work through us others. That's what's going on here. That's what's going on here. These people trying to cause your death. They want you. They want to sacrifice you. They want to sacrifice you. They done tried everything in their power. They done lied on you. They done ridiculed you. They done judged you. They done tried to shame you. They done tried to blame you. They done tried to have you institutionalized. They done tried to have you in prison. They done put out hits on your life to have you killed, to have you blood sacrificed, honey. But see, if you anything about my, like myself, honey, this is why I stay vocal, baby. I don't fear no evil or no wickedness. But I bet you you know any damn thing happened to me, you're going to know exactly who the fuck to look at, okay? Because this one side op, they ain't going to get the hell away with. Y'all might go along with all these other random ass blood sacrifices and setups around here. Y'all going to know what it is. Should anything happen to me or my child, that should link right back to the satanic powers that be. From local government all the way up to highest government. And my fake phony fraudulent ass family. And exes too that they done linked up with. To go along with the setup. Because they all money hungry, gold diggers, devil worshiping sellouts. And they all going to pay for what they have done to me and my child. As well as to you and your children. Or your family, any and anyone else that is affected around you by what they are doing. When they when they decide to target me or anybody like me, when they decide to target my child, when they decide to work against me, definitely when they decide that they was gonna sacrifice me, they met their match. Just period. Just period. Whoever you are, they they really hate on some type of work that you do or some type of income that you can receive from the work that you do. They 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 hating on your growth, your passion, your drive, this movement forward. Okay. So this is the reason why they're trying to lie, cheat, and steal, manipulate, and control. They, this is the reason why they're sneaking and creeping around trying to do something behind your damn back. These people even trying to, these people even trying to, uh, uh, have you stuck, restricted, unable to move, imprisoned in some type of way, so they can steal some type of money from you. The devil is a lie. And I reverse that shit back onto them a thousandfold immediately, so mote it be. You can believe that. My word is bond, baby. That's what's going on here, y'all. That's what's going on here. So I do hope that this is giving you all the information and the communication uh, uh, for your situations and, and, and what you are dealing with. I hope it is giving you the truth and the clarity that you were seeking for your situation or a situation you know someone else is dealing with. Um, for those of you who would like to contact me, you can do so at tiff.diamond.36 at gmail.com. You can also follow me on Instagram, which is shine bright like a diamond 36 with an underscore between each word. For any person who is interested in donating to the channel, it is greatly, greatly appreciated. I do thank you all in advance. You can do so through Cash App, which is dollar sign tiff diamond 36 or through PayPal, which is paypal.me slash add 36 diamond. Uh, also, for those of you who have Zelle, um, you can send your contributions, your support, or your donations through Zelle at TiffanyZiggler60 at gmail.com. All of that information is in the description box below. I put that information out here for you all regardless, honey. Also, although I, I don't get the, the support 
that other people get because I'm a targeted individual. Of course, they tell people not to support. So um, that means a lot of people who was, are watching me are really trolls and gang stalkers who sit back in the cut um, watching, copying, or whatever, uh, you know, scrutinizing or whatever, um, what I'm doing over here, but you don't show no support at all okay now y'all go to the other channels and you show all your support and give all your donations to other people but god's got it honey i'm not worried nothing about it but i know what's going on because it's been going on for years okay so um all those who are involved in gang stalking and harassing me and different things like that i know that uh your hands of us the satanic powers that be and all of them they tell you oh, don't support this person um and, and, you know, don't like this, don't like that, don't support this person and all this, that, and the other. But I just wonder why you here, why you keep watching. But anyway, as always, guys, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. But most of all, take care of your babies, honey. Um, remember, this is a wicked, wicked world that we live in. There is wickedness in high places and there is evil that is lurking around each and every corner, even in a neighborhood near you. So y'all watch your surroundings. Watch the company you keep. Watch the surroundings and the company in which your children are in as well. And considering the fact that you never know when someone may betray you, backstab you, try to hurt you or harm you, honey, keep you some protection on you. Y'all stay awake, stay aware, stay vigilant, and stay prepared because if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready, baby. Until the next time, peace, love, and light. Namaste. I am that I am created in the image of God. One more thing, guys. See, the problem with uh, a lot of people, especially those of them on the higher level, the problems with those of them who are already wealthy and already in power and different things is... Um, they don't want anybody to succeed, progress, or make it that they can't control. If they're unable to manipulate you, if they're unable to control you, if they can, can't convince, coerce, or threaten, or persuade you into selling your soul, signing bogus contracts, and allowing them to, to fuck you over um, sideways with no damn Vaseline, then um, they do everything in their power to destroy you. They do everything in their power to work against you, okay? And see, that's what they too coward to come out and tell you. They don't want nobody. They're not going to put any support behind you unless you are sold out to them. You understand what I'm saying? This is the reason why they target people in secret the way they do. Them targeting people ain't nothing about it that's legal. You understand what I'm saying? That's the reason why they um, run their little psychological operations and set situations and uh, uh, things up to try to belittle other people, make it uh, um, look as if something must be wrong with other people or what have you or whatever. That's why it's mind over matter. And you have to be smart about everything that you're dealing with and you're going through, okay? When these people, you know, run their little, they, they little operations and different things, okay? But that's the reason why the struggle is so real, okay? Because those of them who are in power, those of them who are wealthy, those of them who are sitting up on their pedestals looking down um, uh, at everyone else in the world, um, trying their best to... Uh, progress or su uh, to succeed or to just to live comfortably they purposely make it hard okay because what they don't want to do is is for you um to reach a level where uh you surpass them there you have more wealth or more power than them okay they will absolutely do any and everything in their power to prevent that because those are the that's the bullies that they are okay and trust and believe when i say anybody that's somebody that have anything i don't give a damn how smart they are how hard they work um what they skilled at what they know if they have any substantial amount of wealth or power or any damn thing you can best believe that they are a sellout because the satanic powers that be they don't let you allow you to have all of that without you being a sellout Without you taking oaths, without you signing blood contracts, without you doing ri ridiculous ass rituals, without you coming off a of blood sacrifice and all other types of uh, 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 humiliating and disgusting, degrading, demonic things. You see, that's what that is. Especially if you are someone of color. Okay, and that do mean any color, particularly my color, but really anybody of color, just particularly my color. Okay, 
because they expect us to be ignorant and dumb and wretched and illiterate and things anyway so you best believe if we have any talent skill or ability or any smarts about us at all even if you educated even if you sophisticated even if you illuminated or what have you they still will make life hard for you if you are not sold out to them okay because selling out to them being under contract with them they can watch you more closely they can they can be more in control of you and this is the reason why the ones of them that you see who are not. See, if, even, even if you don't sell your soul and your ass to the satanic powers to be in the devil, it doesn't mean that you, 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 you can't come across some progression. It's a, it doesn't mean that you can't reach certain achievements, but it only gets to a certain level. Because past that level, then here come your men in black. Here come, you know. The evil wickets of the wealthy, of the elites, of the entertainment industry, and so forth. You understand what I'm saying? So the people who have refused to sell out, the majority of them, if you look them up, they are now dead. They either find a way to blood sacrifice you, kill you. They find a way to make you look crazy. They find a way to pin some type of charge on you. I'm telling you, they do it all the same. They either pop up dead. Or you turn around and they have put some type of false a uh, accusations on somebody. They'll call them a sexual predator or claim that they have committed some type of crime or claim that they have uh, some type of tax invasion, any damn thing. Because a lot of times what y'all don't know that they do is the people that they don't kill right out, they'll set them up to get them locked up. And then when they, when they lock them up, they send their guys in to come and talk to them while they locked up to try to uh, uh, to forcibly persuade them to sell out and sign bogus ass contracts just to get out and have a little bit of money. But everything they own is owned by the satanic powers that be. Who has all the control over them, all the manipulation over them. See, this is the game that they play. They don't play fair at all. And they bullshit ass game. That's why I can roll their dirty dice before they stop rolling. Or I can call their dirty dice rather before they stop rolling. That's why they feel some type of way about me. I'm not supposed to know this. I'm not supposed to say this. I'm not supposed to tell or teach nobody else this. Because they want y'all to be stupid. They want y'all to be dumb. They want y'all to be focused on ignorant shit that don't matter. Gossip, drama. Rumors, who's screwing who, entertainment, games, and all other kind of shit. Music and all other type of shit. That's why they spend so damn much money on entertaining y'all. Because they don't want you to think about anything. They don't want you to research or study anything. They don't want you to know any damn thing. They want you as brainwashing as dumb down the fuck as possible. And when you are not, they, they send in their reinforcements to try to reprogram your ass in a way. And if they can't do that, if that fails, then that's when they, they send in the good old bad boys to run their psychological operations on you. That when they call the Cointel Pro Crew, the cons and actions, the CIA. The military or somebody to, to use their directed energy weapons and all other forms of illegal technologies and artificial intelligence and all other type of things on you to illegally invade and violate you. Okay? They do it all the time. They either make you look crazy. They make you uh, 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 be a criminal. They either make you look crazy, make you a criminal, or flat out kill you. Crazy criminal kill. That's what they do. In the order that they do it. And they don't want nobody to know. But I do. Peace, love, and light. Namaste.